So finally guys, I got the Realme 3 Pro over here. I have bought it yesterday and uh, got the delivery today. That's very awesome by the way. So hey, what's up guys? My name is Zaheer and in this video, I'm going to do a unboxing and give you my first impression of this Realme 3 Pro. Let's begin. So this is the box guys, Realme 3 Pro written over here, Realme 3 Pro written also over here and some of the little bit information over here, very minimal box packaging. Let's cut this plastic wrapping over here. Okay. Let's cut this seal. First of all, we got the shasha over here, uh, which says, hey, welcome to the Realme family. So this is not my first Realme smartphone. So yeah, but nonetheless, very good. Then opening that up, uh, we got this SIM removal tool over here and it says, let's embrace a new journey. Then after that, moving in, we got this a uh, clear plastic case over here. I mean, uh, first of all, a huge thanks to Realme to bundling this uh, clear plastic case over here. This is their theme. They always bundle a clear plastic case and the quality of this case seems pretty nice. So yeah, so let's put this aside for a moment. Then we got some of the paperwork putting that side. Then we got this Realme 3 smartphone over here. Well, this is the phone and as of the first impression, it seems quite heavy. Uh, but let's remove this plastic film so this is the phone guys I mean as of the first impression it looks pretty good impressive let's remove this too and the screen protector is already applied on this let's quickly turn it on while it's booting up let me tell you what more you get inside the box so first of all we got this charger over here the power brick which is the vook 3.0 charger i mean it's massive guys believe me it's massive as fuck oh sorry shit that was not i have supposed to say on camera so as you see the output rating of this charger is 5 volt 4 ampere that means it's a 20 watt charger wow it's a budget range smartphone and it has 20 watt of output rating that's amazing learn samsung learn please learn something from him and then we have this wow very heavy duty cable so we got this very thick cable uh, basically a, a vook compatible cable and a micro usb port uh, that's very sad we got a micro usb port instead of type c but type c would be very very amazing but sadly we got the micro usb port let's put everything aside for a moment and let's see the phone itself uh, let me quickly set it up guys first so while i'm setting this smartphone up let me tell you that i have used quite a lot of realme smartphone in, uh, in the past i mean almost all of the realme smartphone that have they released i have used almost all of them but i have found one issue in the realme devices the first issue that i have found is the build quality they always gives the plastic build quality and it does not give that what do you say the assurance of uh, safety you know uh, if you understand what i mean that uh, when you hold a metal smartphone in your hand you get a assurance that it holds up uh, for a while with you but uh, when you hold a i mean a plastic smartphone it does not give you that assurance but that's the uh, biggest concern that i have with the realme smartphone and other than that i have one more concern that is the software uh, I don't like the color OS, but I have heard that they have improved the color OS a lot as of the realme 2 pro I have used it and in that phone the color OS was not that refined I could say that they have given this new color OS 6.0. So let's see. How is it? Is it uh, any better than the color OS which was found in the realme 2 pro? So as of the first impression it seems very very different as it was on the color OS 5.0 because the icons seems very cartoonish in that one and uh, this one seems very materialistic that is very nice and even this the notification bar seems very good uh, i'll use it for a while and i'll tell you more about the software experience what i feel after using it for a couple of days but as of now it seems pretty good i used almost every uh, third party ui that is out there like color os 
flame os or whatever os they have uh, like me ui and i have to say guys other than the stock android the best ui is oxygen os then after immediately after that the best and the most optimized ui that i have ever found in any smartphone is me ui and uh, let's see let's test this device and i will tell you my first impression otherwise uh, the the first impression of this phone is pretty good uh, right now it is running on android 9.0 pi that's very nice so yeah it seems pretty good for now i will uh, tell you more about it in the full review so wait for that and uh, it's running on android color os 6.0 that's very nice so it has 4 gb of ram and 64 gb of internal out of that uh, we got around 46.4 gb of uh free storage so yeah that's there uh let's see the cameras well shutter like seems pretty good i mean it's not there that much wow uh, as of the first impression the camera seems to be doing a really good job there is a minor delay when you switch from different modes to different modes by the way this camera can shoot 4k videos so that's very nice you have 2x zoom over here which is a just digital zoom so don't expect the very good quality so this is a front facing camera uh, let me take a picture first okay it's something is loading that wow by the way the lighting is pretty fantastic so yeah don't judge the camera by uh, now I will uh, definitely test it out properly and give you my full camera review. So wait for that and hit the bell notification icon below after you subscribe. So as of the first impression, the camera seems pretty nice. By the way, under the hood, it has a Snapdragon 710 processor. It's an octa-core processor based on uh, Cryo 360 architecture. And the first two cores, the high power cores are clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and six other cores. Those are also Cryo 360, but they based on 1.7 gigahertz. The performance supposed to be very good. Then uh, it has a Adreno 616 GPU. So yeah, that is also very nice. So uh, let's test it out after some time. The thickness is 8.3 mm. It's quite thick in my opinion. It's not very thin, you know, and uh, it has, uh, as you see on the front, it has this 6.3 inches 1080p display. It's an IPS display and color saturation seems pretty fantastic as of the first impression. I have not tested it properly, but wow, the brightness is good enough. It seems pretty good, guys. As of now, um, viewing angles are good too. So yeah, the, the display seems pretty nice. And by the way, guys, let me tell you that it is also protected by Gorilla Glass 5. That's very nice. Huh? So yeah, as you see, the bezels are quite thin. So that's very nice. Moving to the back, uh, we have this... Uh, dual camera setup over here the primary sensor 16 megapixel sensor with the aperture of f1.7 and this is 5 megapixel camera with uh, that is the depth sensor and has a aperture of f2.4 and this primary sensor can shoot 4k video as 30 fps and that's very nice then we have the flash over here the fingerprint scanner which i will uh, test in a bit and then we have realme logo and by the way it looks pretty fantastic it has this uh, subtle as type of design it looks pretty good it has this lining type of texture over here it does not fit in the hand but it's a plastic guy so yeah that's a very very sad thing and moving to the bottom we have this speaker grill over here sadly very very sadly micro usb port i am very d disappointed by realme in this move then we have this uh, primary microphone hole and the headphone jack thank you so much for headphone jack and on the top we have the secondary noise cancellation microphone hole and uh, on this side we have this uh, volume rocker sim tray uh, i will uh, show you the sim tray in a later part of the video and then is this side we have the power button and on front as i have told you it has 6.3 inches 1080p ips display and on the top of this display we have this 25 megapixel camera with the aperture of f2.0 and that seems very nice and under the hood it has 4045 mAh battery that's amazing isn't it and it supports by Vogue fast charging 3.0 so yeah the battery charging time will going to be really nice because i have tested the one plus six and that one plus six also has a similar type of charging specification that is 20 watts of charging so let's see how's the speed of this uh, smartphone how the charging speed is going to be i'm going to do a charging test of this smartphone with the Vogue fast charger so yeah stay tuned for that 
so as you see guys we have dual sim card support over here as well as our dedicated sd card support so that's a very very nice thing so the biggest advantage this smartphone has is the dedicated sd card slot so if you want a dedicated sd card slot i can say that you can go with this device and otherwise uh, there are very tough competition i will be able to compare it with the redmi note 7 pro if i if i got the chance to uh, get the redmi note 7 pro so if anyone want to collab with me with the redmi note 7 pro please feel free to ask me out so the, my fingerprint has been registered wow wow the speed is pretty good it is quite comparable guys with the big smartphone like oneplus and other big smartphone and even it is faster than a lot of big smartphone like samsung smartphones samsung smartphones fingerprint scanners are very very slow as i've used note 9 it's quite fast so yeah as of the first impression this device seems to be very very amazing for the price of 14000 rupees i will test each and every aspect of this device the gaming the camera the performance multitasking and each and everything and i will make a videos like gaming review camera review and charging test of course charging test which is very important because of the fast charging and uh, then i will share each and every videos on this channel so if you want to see them and if you want to see the in-depth testing of this device so stay tuned for that just hit that subscribe button then after hitting the subscribe button you have to hit that bell notification icon otherwise youtube won't send you a notification which is very very sad in my opinion so yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video if you are watching this video till now just go ahead in the comment section below and uh, type yes i am watching this video till now so I will know that you are a very good and very lucky person to watch my video full till the end because uh, those are lucky who watch my video till the end. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you gained anything from this video and hit that like button, share this video with your friends who are looking to purchase any smartphone. The link to buy this smartphone is present in the description box below so you can go and buy this smartphone if you want so yeah that's all in this video guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did then hit that like button share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye